not stop grumbling. He grumbled that he wasn't polished enough. He grumbled that he was overworked. Most of all, he grumbled about the passenger. I'm ashamed of you, Duncan, said Scarloe. Thank goodness Reneus is coming home soon. Perhaps he'll teach you some sense before it's too late. What has Reneus to do with me? Reneus saved our railway, replied Scarloe. Please tell us about it, said Peter Sam. Well, began Scarloe. It was before you came here. Things were bad. Reneus and I had to keep the trains running, or our railway would have to close. How awful, murmured Peter Sam. I tried hard, continued Scarloe, but my old wheels ached. Reneus understood. It's my turn now, he'd tell me. He was often short of steam, but he always struggled to a station and then rested there. I mustn't stop between stations, he'd say. The passengers wouldn't like it. <laughs> Huff Duncan. He had stopped on a viaduct and hadn't cared at all. Passengers, continued Scarloe, get cross if you stop at the wrong places. Reneus stopped in the wrong place once, and this is what happened. One wet and windy afternoon when the rails were damp, Reneus was traveling home with a full train. There were even passengers in the caboose. It wasn't a comfortable ride at all. Reneus's wheels kept slipping, and it was a steep climb. At last, his wheels gripped the rails again. The worst is over, he thought. Now we're away. But they weren't. Ah, ah, I've got a cramp, he groaned. And Reneus stopped on the loneliest part of the line. His driver examined him carefully. Your valve gear has jammed. We need to reach the next station. Do you think you can still get us there? I'll try, replied Reneus. Scarloe, this helps a little engine to feel that at last he has really come home. 